We began with that breaking news, a historic investment in Kansas City with less than two weeks until a stadium expansion vote. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I'm Chris Ketz. You've seen the renderings. The Royals want a new ballpark in the crossroads. The Chiefs want to expand Arrowhead, and it's all up to Jackson County voters. And now we're seeing the team's community benefits discussion. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock has seen the deal. Andy, what do we know? Yeah, Chris and Lara, the Royals and Chiefs combined say they will put up more than $260 million in cash to invest in the community. That proposal would become binding once a lease deal is formalized and signed, likely we're told by the end of the week. Really what we're asking for is that for residents of Jackson County to contribute the same amount of money they are today for a significantly better deal. And that deal for the Royals to build a new stadium and the Chiefs to renovate Arrowhead all rides on whether or not Jackson County voters will support a 40 year extension of the current three eighths of a cent sales tax. Jackson County legislator Manny Abarca negotiated the community benefits agreement proposal with the two teams. He's now a yes vote after the Chiefs and Royals committed to investing more than $260 million a community board would decide to spend on items like affordable housing, job training, and youth programs. We've not seen anything like this uh, in any type of sports team related community benefit outcome. Cash in hand, significant dollars to the community that the community controls. The teams negotiated with Jackson County legislators instead of executive Frank White. White, a Royals legend, says he's opposed to the deal and questions the timing of the announcement while voting on the sales tax extension is already underway. Royals Executive Vice President Sarah Torville says White has been a roadblock to the Royals plans for years. I hope the voters recognize that whatever Frank's animosity is to the teams and to seeing the city continue to be transformed, that the voters go and vote yes. Now, Andy, we have a proposal, and that's right. what it is, is a proposal. <laughs> right. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Right, exactly. Now, we mentioned that formalized lease deal that's expected to maybe be signed and formalized by the end of the week. Now, also, Royals owner John Sherman, we're told, has been meeting with KCPS Superintendent Dr. Jennifer Collier in Arizona because... That school system obviously doesn't want to lose out on tax money. Plus, they're also wanting to get some new benefits from this deal. We are told negotiations in that area are ongoing. All right, Andy, thank you so much. Chief CEO Clark Hunt is just out with a statement saying, in part, these CBAs demonstrate exactly that. Passing question one will result in real measurable impact across our entire community. The statement goes on to say, we are grateful for the tireless work of everyone who was involved to ensure these agreements will benefit our region to the greatest extent possible.